for eight hours and it's just been a long day. It's late now and I'm just really tired so I didn't feel like getting dressed up. I hope you don't mind the hair, no makeup, and just a hoodie on. But anyway, that is all beside the point. So as you can probably tell from the title of this video, this is going to be um, how I pack for a short trip. On Monday, my boyfriend and I are going to drive to Sandusky, Ohio. We're going so we can go to Cedar Point actually on Tuesday. And if you've never been to Cedar Point, it's a great amusement park. I really suggest you go. But we're going to go a day early and spend a day at um, on the Lake Erie shore and get some food, go shopping, stuff like that. And then finally, we're going to come home Wednesday morning. So I just wanted to show you guys how I pack for a short trip and let's get on with this video. Okay, guys. So first I'm going to start with the bag that I'm taking. This was actually a freebie bag I got from Yankee Candle. I think it was over Christmas time when you bought a lot of stuff. But it just has a snap closure and it's really big inside. Um, as you're going to see I have a lot of stuff so I actually might not be able to fit it all in here. I might have to add another bag but I'm trying to fit it all in here. So then on the way down. It takes about three hours to drive there, so I just have these flip-flops so I can be comfortable, and these are from Old Navy. I have these silky shorts, again, just to be comfy. I'm not really going anywhere in them. They say New York on the back, and I think that's hilarious because my shirt is actually a cut-off shirt I cut myself, and it says Miami Beach on it. So, doesn't make much sense, but oh well. So next, I'm going to show you my PJs. I'm going to wear the same PJs Monday and Tuesday night because I don't think they'll really get dirty after one night. And these are from Victoria's Secret. And then I'm just going to wear this white tank top. And this, I think, is from Forever 21. So next is my swim stuff. I told you we're going to be going to the beach on Lake Erie. Um, these are just basic black bottoms I got from Victoria's Secret. And then this is my bikini top that I'm taking with me, and this is from JCPenney's. Next is this um, beach towel that I'm taking. It's just cheetah print. I'm not really sure where I got it. I've had it for a long time. So then Monday night we're going to go out to eat and probably shop. So I'm bringing this dress to dress up a little bit. And this is from Charlotte Russe. It just has the Aztec print on it. I just got this, I think, last week, so it should still be there. And this was $19.99. I'm going to pair it with this bracelet that is also from Charlotte Russe and these earrings. I thought it was cute because it had the pink and then adds other colors to it. And I'm going to wear these sandals that I got. Um, I honestly can't remember where I got these. I uh, Actually, it might have been Kmart. I'm not sure. Um, I don't know. I'm sorry. I wish I could tell you guys. So then Tuesday we're going to be going to Cedar Point, the actual amusement park. And I'm not really worried about wearing a cute outfit. I just want to be really comfortable and cool. So I brought this fluorescent pink tank top. I don't know if you can see how bright it is right now. But this is a neon tank top. And I got this from Body Central just the other day. And it was $7.90. I'm going to pair that with just these Hollister shorts. I don't want to go all crazy with my bottoms because I am going to be walking all day. And then this silver belt with some silver studs that just look like this. They're just little flowers. And to be comfortable, there's my socks. I'm going to wear my pink, gray, or pink, silver, and black shocks. I've had these for a few years, so I'm not really sure if they're still out or anything. And I know that the pinks don't exactly match for my shirt and my shoes, but like I said, I don't really care. I'm just trying to stay cool and comfortable. So those are clothes for amusement park. And then I need clothes to drive home in Wednesday morning. So just these purple Sophie shorts with this gray and dark blue, which I know doesn't really match the purple Sophie shorts, but what are you going to do? I mean, I just want to be comfy, and it's just a pit cheerleading shirt that I got from when I was in high school. So that sums up all the clothes. Now I'll show you all the extra stuff I'm taking. So, of course, toothbrush and toothpaste. That's my little travel toothbrush that has the cap on it, as you can see. Like I said, we're going to be going to the beach. So I have my sunscreen, and this is Hawaiian Tropic, and this is SPF 30. I like it because it's moisturizing. And then I have my face sunscreen. Um, I've said it in other videos, I don't like putting anything that's not for your face on my face, anything that's scented. So I got special face sunscreen. This is also SPF 30. 
And then for my bath stuff, um, this may look funny and weird, but this is actually some of my bar soap that I used to put on my face. Since I'm traveling just for a couple days, I didn't want to open up a brand new box and bring it with me, like of the soap. So I just cut off a little piece, and this is the Dove Sensitive Skin Hydrating Bar, and it is unscented. And then I have just this little body wash. This is in strawberry and champagne flavor. My aunt actually got me a gift set of these from Ross Dress for Less for Christmas, and I'm still going through them. And then for shampoo and conditioner, my conditioner is by Pantene Nature Fusion Smooth Vitality. It's just the stuff I usually use. And then for shampoo, it's normal to thick smooth shampoo. And then um, for also the shower, I just have a razor and a wide tooth comb for when I get out. I have my Vaseline Total Moisture Lotion. I really, really like this stuff. I like the whole Vaseline line when it comes to lotion. And then for hair, I have my Johnson Kids No More Tangles. I like to have this when I'm going to go to the beach. I'm going to be swimming because my hair gets really knotted while I'm swimming. So I can spray this on and brush it out with my wide tooth comb. And then I also have stuff for when I'm going to curl my hair because I plan on wearing my hair curly when I'm at the park just because it's easier to manage. And this is a Super Stiff Gel by Garnier Fruitisque. I like this for when I'm curling my hair. And Suave Max Hold um, Mousse. And then I also like the Suave Extreme Hold Hairspray. So then I have my Tresemme heat protector because I'm going to show you my hair dryer in a couple minutes and you always have to keep your hair protected. I have bobby pins. I have my Dove deodorant. This is an original clean. I love this stuff. And then my It's a 10 um, Miracle Leave-In Plus Keratin. I put this in my hair every day when I get out of the shower. It's almost gone, but love it so much. And I also have my Aruba Coconut Lotion. Um, I know I have the Vaseline one too, but this just smells good. I'm not sure if I'm really going to bring them both, but I plan on it if I have room. And then I have my hair dryer with my diffuser attached. I'm going to pack them separately, but it's just by Conair. This is ancient. It was my mom's. Um, I just really like to have a diffuser when I am curling my hair. So it the heat doesn't go like directly on it and it comes out a lot nicer. So next is my makeup bags. This one inside of it has all of my brushes that I'm taking. I have eyeshadow brushes, blush brushes, my kabuki brush for my face, everything. So all my brushes just go in this and if you recognize that, that's from a previous My Glam bag. And then in my big makeup bag, get it unzipped, I have all the makeup I'm going to be wearing. I guess I can just go through this real quick and show you guys. I have my Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizer that I use every day and night. My Clinique Even Better Skin Tone Corrector that is to fade my acne scars. Scandinavia finishing spray that I put on after my makeup. I have my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle that I use to highlight. My Bare Minerals Mineral Veil in Warm that I just use to even out my skin tone. My NYX Matte Bronzer in Light. And, you know, it's a bronzer, whatever. Makes me look more tan. I don't use all three of those face products together, though, just to let you know. I just didn't know which ones I was wanting to wear. I have my full coverage foundation. The I'm sorry, full coverage concealer. It's the Concealer in a Jar by NYX. My Urban Decay Primer Potions make my shadows last all day while I'm at the park. I have my L'Oreal Full Definition Voluminous Mascara. Oh! <laughs> my Revlon Brow Fantasy in the lid fell off. This is in the color light with just the pencil at the top, the gel at the bottom. Eyelash Crawler. My sharpener for my brow pencil. Maybelline Eye Studio. Um, gel or cream liner, and this is in the black color. Oh, it's 
something just flew out of there, but my Tweezerman tweezers. And last but not least, my Naked 2 palette that I take everywhere when I travel. So that's all the makeup I'm taking. Those are my brushes. And then just two little miscellaneous things I have is my lint roller. Um, I have a white cat that you've seen before. Her name is Hello Kitty. And I often have hair on my clothes. So since I'm bringing that black dress with me, I wanted to bring this just in case. And then I'm going to bring this book to read. And it is A Million Little Pieces by James Frey. I've already started it. I'm um, not sure what page I'm on, but it is a really good book so far. So I figured I can read this in the car until I get car sick because I do get car sick a little bit. But that looks like that is everything. Well, there it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and maybe this will give you an idea of what to wear when you're at a amusement park or just how to pack for a three-day trip. And I guess I'll be seeing you guys when I get back. Bye.